What's up guys? Today I decided to do a little bit of a, a different video here for you. Um, a little bit too cold today to go fishing, so I decided to go to Bass Pro Shops. Um, over the next couple months, January, February, I'm going to be working on restocking all my stuff. Uh, getting ready for March, April, once I start going bass fishing a little bit more. Uh, this time of year I stick to more trout fishing just because it's cold. The bass aren't, bass fishing isn't great. Uh, trout fishing I love and this is the best time of year to do it in my opinion. Hardly anybody's out. You can catch a bunch of fish. But anyways, just wanted to show you guys exactly what I got here um, and what I'm planning on using once March, April comes around. First up, Zoom Baby Brush Hog. Love this stuff. Love flipping this around cover. It's my ultimate. It's my all-time favorite thing to do around cover. Um, definitely something I recommend. I didn't even get into it until this year. Uh, love this stuff. Strike King Spinner. Got a few of these. Love spinner baits. Love using inline spinners for trout. Love using these spinners for uh, for bass. They kill it for smallmouth. They kill it for largemouth. It's a must for me. Sankos. Enough said. More Sankos. Look at that. More Sankos. Sankos. Here we go. Got a rattle trap here. Uh, I love using this even this time of year. It's great for walleye, great for smallmouth when the colder water. Um, even largemouth in the winter. I don't do a ton of largemouth fishing in the winter since I have a lot of smallmouth around. Um, but this is my, one of my favorite things to use in cold water. Kills it. I'll probably start using this late February, early March. Um, I can use it now for walleye if I want, but like I said, I'll probably be doing a lot of trout fishing here in the next couple months. We'll see. Got some Zoom Finesse Worms. Love using these in uh, various different ways. Um, I'll use these drop shotting. I'll use these sometimes weightless just floating them at, in ponds. They work really well for really pressured ponds. Um, one of my favorite ponds here close to my house gets fished super hard and it seems like these are the only things that can get fish to bite. Called a nice four and a half pounder uh, in August video here. Um, I think these are a must have. Z-Man Chatterbait, love chatterbaits, caught my PB largemouth on a chatterbait in August out of a small reservoir, only ever caught anything bigger than two pounds, um, put this on, six pounder, six and a half actually. Would have thought we'd find some Sankos in here. Rapala Shadrap. Love this bait, especially another, it's another cold water bait for me. Uh, use this in anything from 40 degree water up. Um, kills it for walleye in the river. Very good for smallmouth once March comes around, even up until early to late November. Uh, this will kill it. Lost what it would have been my first ever Susquehanna River muskie on this guy right here just a couple weeks ago. Um, it's really nice for cold water. If you haven't used jerk baits yet, definitely try it. They kill it. Got a couple crank baits. Uh, deep water, no, sorry, deep water, shallower, four to six foot. This will go to about 15. Um, 
I like using this more so in lakes than anything, just because they're they're typically deeper. Um, but the shallower dive, definitely love to use in the river, um, in shallower ponds. Uh, another good bait to use early in the year. Um, I think that's where my mind was a little bit when I was chopping today. Just trying to get some stuff, kind of get ready for the March, April, start of my bass season. I mean, you can fish for bass all year, don't get me wrong. I don't really start till March or so. Last but not least, another spinner, Strike King KVD spinner. Uh, this one with gold blades, the other one had silver. I already said what I need to say about spinners, love them. All right, well, that's going to wrap it up for this video, I guess. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this little unbagging. Um, just wanted to show you guys how I'm getting prepped for the for the bass season and everything. Uh, this upcoming week, it's supposed to get really cold. I'm not sure what type of fishing I'm going to do, if I'm going to do any fishing. I kind of wanted to get out to the river and do some walleye fishing. But it's, it's starting to get really cold. The river might even be freezing up this week. Lakes and ponds are already there. Um, we had a cold day yesterday, or a warm day, I'm sorry, it was a warm day yesterday, it was close to 50 degrees, um, my last video I was out trout fishing, didn't do so well, uh, but I will be going out this weekend, probably for some native brook trout, that's kind of what I, I usually stick to native brook trout and, and little wild brown trout streams in January, February, just because it's really cold, those streams are in valleys that are protected by the wind, they don't freeze up ever, um, so that's probably what you can look forward to for this channel. Um, once again, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time on SRC Outdoors.